You love your dogs. I love my dogs, yes. After all these years, Ivana Trump walking her toy Yorkie in her leopard print coat on the Tony East side of New York still evokes the lifestyles of the rich. This is all Ivana. Yeah, and I was all for $40 million for it. If not quite as famous. But at 68, more than a quarter century after her marriage to Donald Trump broke up, Ivana says she doesn't miss a thing. Do you miss the old life? The old life? Life with Donald? I don't, no. Nothing really changed. I have a beautiful home here. I have a spectacular apartment in Miami. I have a 300-year-old fisherman houses in, in the harbor of the Saint-Tropez. What more can I, uh, can I have? Still, as satisfied as she is with all she has. A lot of this happened because of Donald. A lot of happened with Donald, yes. She wants to make something perfectly clear. He well, wouldn't be who he is without you. That's for sure. Especially when it comes to their children. She's written a new book, Raising Trump, inspired, she says, by watching her three kids, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, during the campaign. And I was very, very proud of them because they were articulate, intelligent. And so and you thought, wait a minute, if we're going to talk about who raised the Trump kids. It was definitely me. The book includes stories many parents can relate to. Ivanka, she was like 14, and her hair was blue. So I freaked Ivanka out, Ivanka came of home course. with blue hair? Blue hair. And a few most certainly cannot. I was in first class, and kids were in the economy. So you're in first yeah. class, the kids and are in kids coach. Kids were in economy, in and, coach. And were they learning a lesson that way? Well, I think so. Ivanka wanted to have an upgrade one day. I said, when you can afford it, you get upgrade. I'm sitting in first class, I afford it, you're sitting in the economy. It's been 41 years since Savannah, a model from what's now the Czech Republic, got a life-changing tap on the shoulder in a New York City night spot. So I turn around and there is a blonde, blonde, blue-eyed guy, and he said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, my name is Donald Trump, and I can see the girls you are looking for the table. And I turned to my girlfriend and said, I have a good news and bad news. What is the good news? You're going to get a table real fast. What is the bad news? This fellow behind me is going to go and sit with us. They would marry eight months later in 1977 and become the boldest of New York City's bold-faced names in the 80s. The spotlight could be harsh. We should have world record setting fights, but we really don't. We showed her a nearly 30-year-old clip from Oprah. We get along very well, and there's not a lot of disagreement because ultimately, Ivana does exactly as I tell her to do. <laughs> all right. oh, hold on for a second. You're still laughing, but a lot of you heard the audience. A lot of groans. Well, I, I don't really care, you know. Did you feel that was disrespectful? Maybe it was, you know, but it re didn't bother me. It all blew apart in the early 1990s when Donald Trump's affair with Marla Maples led to an ugly divorce featuring three straight months of humiliating New York City tabloid covers. Well, she's, I don't want to talk about her. She's a showgirl, never achieved anything in her life. Today, Ivana won't even call Maples by name. It may take two to tango, but only one to be blamed. In the book, she gets the blame. Well, she was flirting. I mean, I think she was flirting and, and, and she got away with it. Do you blame him when you think about it now? I'm not sure because Donna would get a thousand uh, the business cards in the pockets every night. He could choose any girl he wanted to have. So I'm not sure if she was, or it would be another one, it would be another one. I really don't know. Though the terms of her divorce were sealed, Ivana Trump clearly walked away from her marriage with enough to cushion the pain. And if she'll never forgive his second wife, she has no issues with his third. You get along with Melania, though, don't you? I get along with Melania, yes. What's the difference there? The one is nobody, and the other one is first lady. Maybe it's not divorce as many have lived it, 
But as she's proven for the last three plus decades, Ivana doesn't do common. You write, my instincts tell me Donald was smart and funny and an all-American good guy. Yes. Were your instincts right? Yes. You still feel that way about him? Yes, I do. Is he still a big part of your life? Yeah, he is. He is. In what way? Well, we, we speak to each other. How often? Yeah, maybe once a week. He asks for your advice? Yeah. And he, he's still asking me for advice, yes. He, what will he ask you yeah, your advice about? He, he asked me about, uh, should I tweet, should I not tweet? I said, I think you should tweet. It's a new way, new technology. And if you want to get your uh, uh, words across rightly, without telling the New York Times, which is going to twist every single word of yours, this is how you get your message out. Ivan, I think so many people Mm -hmm. Democrats, Republicans, allies, critics have said, Mr. President, stop tweeting. Well, it's a tweeting president. This is his new way how to put the message across, and he's right. Ivana Trump can only talk politics so much. To be a successful president, he's right. got to get people behind him. He has the people behind him. Do you think it bothers him that the polls suggest that there are more people that disapprove than approve? I really don't know, and I don't really care. Congratulations, Mr. President. Yeah! After all, that's his life now, not hers. She moved on to selling several lines of Ivana-branded products and books. She married and divorced twice after Donald, and doesn't mind letting you know she's still not hurting for company. You do like the energy of a younger man. Uh, yes. Yes, I'd rather be a babysitter than a nursemaid. <laughs> and I don't need to worry about the, the bad knee and bad back and Viagra and all that stuff. So. <laughs> no, Ivana Trump likes her life just fine. Her new one, which is a lot like the old one, without the complications. I was just offered to be American ambassador to Czech Republic. And Donald told me, say, Vanna, if you want it, I give it to you. But I like my freedom, okay? Why would I go and say bye-bye to Miami in the winter, bye-bye to Saint-Tropez in the summer, and bye-bye to the spring and fall in New York? I have a perfect life.